So um, the next thing is um, this week, I believe there have been some uh, uh, some conferences with some high level thinkers about <coughs> pardon me the concept of uh, superannuation and potentially the the plan where people might be able to actually pull some of their superannuation out for the purposes of buying property. Mm. What do you think about that? Hmm. I mean, imagine you've got okay. Uh, let me just give you a bit of context here while you uh, think about that. Let's say, you know, I'm 40 years old, I've been working for, I don't know, 20 odd years, and I've got some super accumulated, which I can't touch for another however many years. Mm. Um, and, well, I've, let's say I've got enough equity to get started with, with a home loan, but that might still be a stretch. D- doesn't it make sense to consider the long term investment? Uh, goals of superannuation in terms of a place to live because at least that's something that you then don't have to rely on Centrelink for. Mm. So you take some of those funds out and put it towards a home. What do you reckon? I tend to disagree. Oh, mm, that's what we Ooh. do here. Gee. Okay. Okay. Right. My rationale is tax rates. So you can earn up to 40 – well, you can be in the marginal tax bracket mm-hmm. that sits at 46.5 cents in the dollar. Mm. However, superannuation funds, they pay tax at 15%. Uh, so right. – And I think the fund managers take out fees at 14.9%. Do they? <laughs> Hello, fund managers. You're saying the wrong fund managers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Certainly not the managers at that – that bank that we're trying not to talk no. about. No, so, which one? So not necessarily. <laughs> no. So property not necessarily a good idea, or taking super money out of super to invest in property. But isn't it? Well, well what? Okay, coming back to you on the tax though, isn't it the case where the family home is not taxable for capital gains purposes? Yes, but so I'll give you a point there. Yeah, However, so that's zero percent tax versus fifteen percent tax. Mm, you're driving a hard yes, bargain. Yes, 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 yes. That is a good point. And if you sold your house the gain wouldn't be assessed. Mm. However... Well, you wouldn't have anywhere to live. Well, you'd have to buy something else. Ah. You'd have to downsize. Right. We're not talking about bridging finance now, are no, we? No, no. Mm. But how do you suppose that that typical family, how would they live if they just have a house to live in mm. and no superannuation? Oh, so they, what income are they going food. through? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Chum. Uh, good good mm. question. Uh, well, I suppose that's where the downsizing comes in. So, you know, mm. I mean, it's uh, consider consider some uh, – well, look at my parents, right? Uh, they started off with houses that were quite large and uh, I've noticed over the years they've been consistently downsizing and now they've downsized uh, to an apartment mm. and uh, given the age of my parents, I'm just looking at them now thinking, well, eventually they're going to downsize to a box that's about six feet long uh-huh. <laughs> and, they'll, oh. and they'll live in there for quite so- – well, I mean, it's the, it's the one – as Steve Jobs said, it's the one destiny that we all share. R.I.P. So I'm wondering, yeah. So I'm wondering whether there's actually any merit at all in the in the idea of maybe life is like a giant bell curve. Whoa. And the older you get, the more you slip down on that curve, the smaller your residences get, and you have to keep trading in your residences to buy milk and bread. Do you know? I'm thinking about. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm thinking about there was an old lady who lived in a shoe, right? It starts, yes, starts off a four bedroom, you know, two story right. mansion. <laughs> And before you, you know, over the course, you know, two bedroom apartment, one bedroom apartment. That's right. And if you're, Pe- if you're Peter Ioga, you've yeah. got a big shoe to live in. <laughs> but he was, he was a, our, our earlier news story about uh, there's a guy on the northern beaches who um, is 2.23 metres tall and he has size 40 centimetre feet. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, boy. So if you're going to live in a shoe, his is the one to live in. <laughs> For the, for the man who has everything, a shoe with a guest room. He only needs one shoe. <laughs> yes. Get it. Maybe you could use your super for that. Right. <laughs> Back to you. Back to you. <laughs>